from D. Loomis about a revolve feature problems. Uh, I wondering why you can't revolve the feature of the section view. Got the part opened up, so thanks for sharing. Uh, looks like there's a couple things going on. Um, first off, uh, all this stuff, that's uh, kind of unnecessary. So we're going to delete all this stuff and focus mainly on your sketch form. Now, if you're making a revolution, um, this is your center axis. goes through the part. There's really no need to draw both sides of the part um, because we're basically going to revolve the top here around. So having the bottom uh, just really not necessary. So delete all this stuff. Also, reference dimension, don't need that. Okay, I'm going to trim this up and trim this up. Also, these two. Let's delete that. There we go. Okay, so shoulder degrees freedom to move all over the place. First off, let's get rid of all the rotational commands. Let's see what's going on here. All right. Our origin, center point, project. So that's basically here. Put that back on. All right, so I'm going to make this one center line. So as you can see, when we make a dimension from here to there, it pulls up the radial dimension, so you don't have to do halves or anything like that. So then to the outside, 1.062. Let's check your part here. Um, don't know why they would ever do this uh, kind of dimensioning on this part unless it's up here at the top. Um, that's beyond me, but because um, this is probably one the sixteenth, I'm guessing. But we'll just leave it alone. All right, so uh, this let's go to the end of the line to there. And then we can get our little notch going. So we still have our degrees of freedom coming in like this. And our dimension here is 0.313, but it's plus 0.3125. And the outline dimension is 031. These really should not be dimension like this, but it's probably 3125. And what's the other one? 495. Okay, right. so now we have all this included in one sketch. So that way, um, this one should really be reference and it should be dimension to the center line. Um, everything should be always dimension to the center line if it's going to be revolved, otherwise the offset, um, in my opinion, if this is the given dimension from a revolved feature, that would lead me to believe that it is not a revolved feature itself, it is then a cut. Whereas if it gives you a dimension off of a diameter here, then you know it's going to be revolved around. So by stating on the drawing that uh, here, 531, 375, 031, by not dimension to the center line, it really is misdimensioned and showing that it's not a revolved part. Um, that way it would lead you to believe that it's a square part uh, and not a revolved part. So um, you can bring that up with your instructor. That's uh, how I would see it. Um, I don't know what to say about that. So. Uh, coming back over to here, finish our sketch. So now, a revolution is actually grabbing this whole thing. So that way, you actually get that part. So now, if we want to come back in, we can put our sketch from this end. And again, the call out here is 125 and 031, which 
that's not right. If it's a flat part, you would do the dimension from the center to there, and then that would give you the 375 plus 31 dimension. So um, that's that's kind of a personal preference of mine, but um, so basically dimension from center to here, and you'd be 375 plus 031, which is right about there, and the wireframe here. So what they're really saying is this line should be projected, and then you should have this one tangent to it. Now, as far as the callout goes, that's not really what's going on, but anyway. So have that come to the center, go there. Degrees of freedom here, and the depth of the cut, I would say, dimension to here, put this line there to there. So that way it ensures that it's basically being cut all the way through. And this is 125. So if we do tangent to the outside and then the end on the point, it basically cuts through all of that. So we'll finish our sketch, E extrude, select our part, cut, all. Okay. So what you're looking at here now is the profile. And you can see right here, there's a gap because the gap actually is a double cut. So you're cutting this way and that way, so there is a gap. When you look over here, eh, they, well, they should have a detail coming in. I'm looking at that and actually showing that there's a gap or something like that. Because um, again, it comes up here. It's not really well defined, and some of the dimensions are not how I would set them up. So. Um, that's kind of that.